Welcome back to Mars. As we continue to take on the Red Planet, or as the game is actually called, Take on Mars. <laughs> Alright, so we have been busy. As you can see, I have reorganized things a little bit to make it a little bit easier to get the materials that I need. I have one last mission, which is to, comp to finish collecting hydrogen which this should be the end of it so for the folks who were here for the uh, the last live stream you got to see us starting this whole process where we ended up building the th the larger 3d printer so the rule of thumb with the 3d printer is that it has to be cubed so if you have a three by three base you're going to have a three by three uh, wall as well so it, it does keep that in mind when you're building things all right, so I went ahead and moved the surface extractors over here so that we had everything together. We pulled all the soil out. We ended up gathering two containers of water. And then what we did is once we had two complete containers of water, that gave us all of the hydrogen that we needed and a good portion of the oxygen as well. Um, there is water on board the ship. You can use that if you don't want to go through the whole crafting portion, but I kind of wanted to play with the, uh, the harvesting system. So, and it's rather, oh, hello. It's rather, um, tedious, <laughs> but we are about to hopefully finish the mission and let's see what happens. We want it to go. Oh, so if you are doing this, uh, doing these missions, if you notice the arrows, those are in relation to the uh, the bottle that you put in. So where you see the down arrow, that's going to take resources from the container. The up arrow is going to inject resources into the container. So we're going to go ahead and empty this. That should be enough fuel. Fantastic. You did it, Mark. So now we have to sh transfer shuttle fu fuel from the habitat to the re external tank. Okay. And for this, we are going to go through the other side because we have to go up the, there's a hatch that we need to go up. If you remember, we found it the last time we were over here. Now what's going to happen is, is basically the upper area here should be the, uh, the launcher. So this, this um, fairing on the outside is going to go away and we'll be able to take off. So the entire lower habitation module will remain on Mars, at least in theory. Let's see what happens in the game. <laughs> so I'm not sure how long this video is going to be because like I said, we uh, are, I think we're pretty close. So I'm not sure what, they're gonna, what more they're going to have us do. And this is locked. So we're going to go ahead and cycle this. Come on, let me up. Why are you not letting me? Weird. It's not letting me up the ramp. I may have to... That'll be really silly if I have to go the other way around and then come back through <laughs> the habitation module. There we go. Are you going to let me in now? So it was basically not letting me in because it wanted me to stay back far enough to be able to open the door. Okay. So now we begin this wonderful process. Get our butts up here. I am in the heavy suit. Oh, uh, let's see here. Do I have, Hey, I have a little bit of food and water with me. Awesome. I am kind of curious to see how this whole thing ends up playing out. Because unlike the Martian, um, we are in a launch vehicle that is actually able to be a launch vehicle. It's not, <laughs> it's not been stripped down and tweaked. Oh, hello. Can we actually get up here? It would be really nice. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to do that to kind of cheat there a little bit. And see, it's just pushing me out. Why are you continuously pushing me out? What the? 
Is it because I'm in the bulky suit? It may be because I'm in the bulky suit. Uh, I want to be able to close that hatch. No, I don't want to open that hatch. I want to close the one below us here. Hmm, am I going to be able... Okay, can I cycle that? All right, so now that we can actually walk around over here. No, I didn't want to do that. Come on, let me back. Ah, bloody rot. <laughs> All right, there we go. It's booting up. So we're going to do fuel management. It's time to transfer all the fuel I gathered into the shuttle's reservoirs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see how this one goes. I'm really hoping this does not throw some kind of like silly problem at me because I've got four minutes before the solar shows up, <laughs> before we have a solar event that we have to worry about. So Yes, baby! The MAV is fueled and ready for takeoff. All right. So we're going to open the fairing. Hopefully this will take less than three minutes for us to get up and out of here. Because it won't let me launch until this whole animation thing is done, which means something is going to blow up or break at some point. <laughs> you know it's going to happen, right? All right, I'm going to take this out of my hand because it's kind of distracting seeing this sitting, sitting here. So I have to say, if I was ever trapped on Mars, um, I would probably die a horrible death because <laughs> I would, yeah, I would not have put up with the amount of crap that this character had to put up with in order to get off the planet. So, okay, the fairings are. That is open more than enough. We should be able to take off at this point. Alright, come on. We can do it. Come on! It's still opening. Wow, that is really slow. See, I would think that they would have a system in place um, because this is basically not going to be recoverable maybe have some kind of detonation on, like some kind of charge on there to uh, blow the hinges in a case of an emergency with uh, you know so put like here we go again everything set this time only thing left is to press that launch button earth here I come just as we get hungry <laughs> So yeah, what I was saying is basically I would expect there to be some kind of like compressed gas system with a uh, a small detonation charge, a demo charge on the hinges to blow it off and then have the compressed air move the the fannings out of there. So all right. It's been a long time getting off this planet. <laughs> oh. Now my question is, is that it took a full complement of crew to get us out here. One person was able to get us back. <laughs> so, uh, how does that work? I didn't see a parachute. Wouldn't that suck? Make it all the way back to Earth. So 
is he going to get out and drown? Interesting. So, a vehicle like this where you have, you know, a glide plane, when you're coming back in on that re-entry uh, at Vector, I would think you would have a little bit better control over where you set down. I'm just waiting for something to happen where, you know, <laughs> something blows up and we're, we're either killed or left off somewhere. Watch, the helicopter's gonna show up, there's gonna be a sniper to, to pick us off so that they can say everybody's dead. <laughs> I know, cynical, aren't I? Oh. So this was actually, I have to say, this was a good mission. So to the folks at Bohemian Interactive, well done, folks. I had a lot of, I actually did have a lot of fun with the, the playthrough. Um, it was, it was very entertaining. It was, a lot of people have said, you know, it is very um, measured in its pace. And I have to say that it, while frustrating at times, it does give, to me at least, you know, without ever, ever having been in zero G or, you know, on Mars or anything like that, obviously. It does give a sense of what people have said the experience of being like on the moon is where you have to, everything you do is very measured and for some reason we have a black screen uh oh <laughs> so i'm thinking that that is going to be it i'm gonna to have to cut an image back in here <laughs> so that you're not looking at a black screen oh so anyway i want to thank you all for for joining us on this short adventure it was a lot of fun had a lot of fun with it um thanks for everybody who's been stopping in on the live stream as well as the folks who were tuning in to watch the behind the scenes and in between videos uh we will have a full playlist for this game I will try to remember to put a link for it on the screen, but it will be down in the description below. It will also be on my playlist uh, list, <laughs> on my playlist section. So if you missed anything, feel free to kick back through there. And uh, yeah, I want to thank you again for stopping in. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit those like buttons if you are new to the channel or haven't done so already. Well, if you're new, welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, I do ask that you subscribe as the likes, subscriptions, and even comments do help the channel to grow and get more visibility. And this is a good thing for me, obviously. Um, so I do, I jokes aside, I do appreciate the, uh, the, the everybody who does that. Um, but it also lets me know that you're enjoying the video. And that's what I want to do is I want to bring you stuff you enjoy. So on that note, we are out of here. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of Take on Mars. And uh, yeah, we will see you next time. As always, folks, take care. Be safe out there, everybody. <laughs>